Now I'm going to read through pages 10 to 15 with you. This t section is titled Our Solar System. This is the heading of this next section, Our Solar System. And we have an illustration here with labels. There's Mars here, Earth, Venus, and Mercury. So it's shown us the order that the planets are in when they orbit the sun. Our sun and Earth are part of what we call our solar system. There are eight big planets and five small dwarf planets in the solar system. So there are eight big planets and five smaller, or what they call dwarf planets. Let's go to page 11. This is showing us the rest of the, the illustration, where it's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The sun and the eight big planets in our solar system. So that is what this illustration was of the sun with the eight planets in our solar system. Each planet orbits the sun. The strong pull of the sun's gravity holds the planets in orbit, which keeps them from floating away. Gravity is the same force that makes a baseball fall to the ground when you drop it. Space clues. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects toward a planet or star. Let's go ahead and go to page 12. This section is called the inner planets. This is the heading of this section. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are in the hotter part of our solar system. So this is another illustration of Mercury and Venus, and I think that might be Earth right there. It is. So there's Earth and Mars. These planets are the four closest to the sun. They are made of rock and metal. So Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury are called uh, the rock planets because they're made of rock and metal. Now let's go to page 14, your planet Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. The planet we call home spins at just the right distance from the sun. That's a picture of Earth. It's far enough away to be not too hot, yet close enough so it's not too cold. Here the conditions are just right for life. So we can, that's why we are able to have sea animals, plants, and trees, and land animals on Earth because the conditions can support animals, the conditions can support trees, and all the other living things in our ecosystem. Now, what's important to know here is that Earth is the only planet that we know that can support life because it's close enough to the sun that it's not too cold, but it's hot enough that we can still have life supported here. So it's the perfect temperature for life to be supported. That is why Earth is able to support life. I want you to answer the next few questions in your, um, in your Google form. And after you finish, we'll continue to read together.